Hey guys, so in this video, I become very dark and scary. Hopefully you guys don't hate me with all of your heart. Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to some more Crundy Crab. This is episode 26. And uh, dudes, if you remember last episode, I asked for your help on uh, trolling Craner back. Uh, and, and I, I've been, I've been busy in between episodes. I have set up, and I gotta finish setting up on this video, one of the b best trolls I think I've ever done. I'll show you in a little bit, but, but first, I wanna show you some things I've been doing in between episodes. I have a bunch of machines set up, and I was tired of uh, having chess scattered across my castle so I set up an ME system we have all our stuff here stored and I'm powering it uh, back here check this out back here I have a bunch of lava generators and then I'm pumping lava into this uh, barrel from the nether just like we did in gold uh, gold cobblestone series and then behind this I have a quarry going I've been busy in between episodes. I'm sick of running out of resources and not having an ME system, so I was busy. And, uh, okay. So, dudes, this episode, we got a troll planned out. We got Gertrude with us. We have, oh yeah, and check this out, Leonard. It says Leonard the child above his head. He's no longer a little boy. <laughs> He's a grown man. Check this out. Click on him. Leonard is currently married to Bobby. <laughs> Leonard married Bobby right here. Married to Leonard. Well played, Craner. Look at this. Bobbies are in the hot tub. Freaking Bobbies everywhere. So, dudes, I have a plan. I have it set up over here. Okay, let's scroll over here. Yeah, right here. This is where the troll is going to take place. I have a bunch of it set up, but I have to put up- I have to do the final touches. I have a few items up here already made. But what I have to do- let's go in the ME system. Um, I'm gonna have to I, I have some of the stuff wrote down. Uh, hold on. Actually, yeah, before I do that, check this out. Let's go down here and look at this tree down here. I found it in the Twilight Forest mod. And check that. Look at the leaves. The leaves move, move, but that's not the important part. Check this out down here. Look at this. It's a clock on a tree that I can turn on and off. Look at this. So whenever you turn it off, you don't hear the clicking noise. Whenever you turn it on, listen. This is gonna have an important role in the- in, in- in Craner's troll today. Okay, so let me grab this tree. Let me grab, uh, I need- I need, like, uh, five of these clocks? Yeah, and what Wait. Bobby the guards, why are they zombies? Oh, I'm sorry! I'm putting you out of your misery! What the heck happened to you? Anyways, that, that was freaking terrifying. Why are all of the bobbies turning into zombies? Gertrude, I will protect you. You will not become a zombie. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do now, I have a clock. I just need a few more of those, but uh, what I can do now, I need this lamp. Yeah, inverted red cage lamp. Okay, this, uh, and I need red lumar. Uh, okay, how many can I get? Uh, 64. That should be enough. Hopefully. Uh, can we make- There we go. Inverted red- red cage lamp. Alright, so there we go. We have the red lamps, and if you look at my inventory, I have leather boots that are enchanted with protection 1, and a straight jacket with <laughs> blast protection fa uh, 4 on a leather chest piece. And dudes, I just want to warn you, this troll that I'm doing on Craner, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, uh, the Saw movies, the horror movies, one of my favorite series that, uh, of horror movies, so freaking good, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, it's, uh, pretty graphic and gory, but, uh, we're gonna use that as our inspiration 
we're going to scare the absolute crap out of Craner. So, <laughs> okay, the next thing I need, I need to make landmines. <laughs> And TNT. All right, there we go. We have a stack of TNT. Now let's make a landmine. There we go. Let's do a stack. A stack of landmines. <laughs> I know what you dudes are thinking. Sandy, what the heck is wrong with you? We're gonna scare the crap out of Craner. Okay, so we have the landmines. TNT, chest piece, boots. Oh yeah, we need the spikes now. <laughs> Oh, Crater is gonna lose his- Okay, so we need this. There we go. How many spikes do we need? At least a stack? Okay, there we go. We have a stack of upright spikes. Now, the last thing we need- I think it's the last thing. Uh, yeah, I believe- so. Oh, no, there's one more item. We need iron spikes. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> we need probably a stack or two of these, so we need a crap ton of iron swords. <sighs> this is gonna take a little bit. Let's- I'll be back once this is done. Alright, there we go. We have two stacks of the iron spikes. Let's make a pickaxe really quick. And the last thing that I need to do- I don't know if you- D B B Bobby's, what- Why are you all s It's like a slumber party. Are they doing their nails? What- <laughs> Oh, good luck. I don't know if you guys- yeah, you guys probably saw this earlier in the episode, this command block here. What this is, this is a command to give me a special potion that I'm gonna give to Craner. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Uh, grab that, and look at this. Potion of Decay. It gives Wither for 20 minutes, but Haste 4 for 1 minute. And you'll see what we're using this for in a second. Okay, I think we have everything now. Uh, I'm, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to spawn in some bedrock. Just a few sh uh, things of bedrock. And uh, I think we're ready. Alright, there we go. We have the half a stack of bedrock. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Sandy, you're spawning stuff in. You're spawning in potions. You're cheating. Uh, I I'm not really using any of this stuff to advance my base. Or advance my game. I'm using it to troll Craner. And we're gonna scare the absolute crap out of him. So, okay, let's head. All right, here it is. <laughs> and I had to make it, make it out of bedrock so it would actually work and Craner couldn't just break out and leave. So, uh, you'll understand the troll once I'm done. Let me go ahead. Let me set everything up. Turn into a blaze really quick. Okay, so look at this. We have a sound block. We have a music disc. Read with- I'm gonna run through this entire troll, but first let me go ahead, grab these clocks. Let's throw down a clock right there. There we go. Okay, you hear it? Okay, the clock is- okay, let's turn the clock off. And then is there- oh yeah, up here. Up here in this dispenser, I need to put these boots and, uh, in this other dispenser, I need to put this diamond pickaxe. Actually, I, I should probably rename this pickaxe. Dig for your life. <laughs> That's a good name. Okay, let's throw this in here. Okay, so I think this first section is set up. I'm not gonna cover up the holes until I'm completely done. This next section over here, I need to throw down another clock. Okay, that's ticking. Turn that off. Okay, I think that's done. And then this section here... Uh, save yourself got milk. Oh yeah, and I'm also supposed to be putting these red charged lamps everywhere too. Let me go ahead and throw these in the corners. This is just for dramatic effect to make it look even more scary. Alright, so there we go. We have lamps in the first section. All the way in the first section. Now the second part of this troll. Uh, let's throw a lamp here, and this is where the spikes are gonna come into use. Let's throw a lamp there, uh, and a lamp there. Okay. Now the second part. This one is called Bobby. <laughs> let's put a clock there. Uh, okay, can we hear it? Okay, we hear that. Let's turn that off. And now let's use... Uh, this is where the spikes are gonna come in handy. What we have to do is down this hallway... We're going to line it with spikes. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Look how terrifying this is. Okay, now the last thing down on the ground. Oh, please. 
Stop damaging me. Good lord. Okay, let's do spike, spike, spike. All the way back. And there it is. <laughs> That looks so demented. Okay, now up here, I need to throw down, uh, where are the boots? Yeah, so up here, I messed up. I'm supposed to put this uh, potion of decay, and in the second one, I'm supposed to put, uh, the boots. Alright, there we go. There's the boots. So once you run through this, this is the second portion. Let's head to the third portion. Okay, here we go. Here's the last section. So let's put lamps in the corners. Uh, and then right- yeah, right there needs to be a clock. Here we go. There it goes, it's ticking! <laughs> and the last section is going to be the landmine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a, a maze out of landmines to scare the crap out of Villain Craner. So here we go. Okay, let's start it like this. Uh, and then let's make them go this way. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> the minefield of death. Okay, now last thing I need to do up here in this dispenser. Uh, let's throw this straight jacket in here with blast protection on it. Uh, and then let's go to the last stage. Which is over here. And I already put a redstone lamp down right there. And this is it. <laughs> The troll is complete. Now what I need to do is let's go through. I want to do some patchwork. I want to make sure all the holes are filled in. And then after this, let's head to Craner's base. All right, so here's Craner's base. And I already have this part set up. Look at this. So he's going to get on, see this chest. And then uh, it's all going to start here. The last thing I need to do, all of his items, everything in his ME system. It's coming with me. <laughs> what we're gonna do, you'll understand all of this. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Uh, I wanna hide all of his items. I guess uh, over here? Look at that. <laughs> it's a trap chest right there. Let's throw all of his drives in there. So now he has nothing. He has zero items now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, so I don't ruin this map and what I've done, I'm gonna download this map to a single player. I'm gonna run you through this troll. My most elaborate troll to date. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. I'm on a single player world. Okay, let's do this. So uh, we have this here, music disc wait. With read with disc. Uh, oh yeah, and also keep in mind, this this troll won't work if morph mod is enabled. So if I could turn into a bat, it won't work. So I'm gonna have Kian disable it for the next time Craner records. <laughs> okay, so here, here we go. Hey, Craner. So, so I, I guess you're probably wondering where all of your items are. Well, if you see in front of you, there's a pressure plate. We'll get to that soon. So I noticed last time you decided to give me a bunch of bobbies. But that's not the main issue. I saw Villain Craner is back. With Villain Craner being back, it has awoken. Fucked up Sunday. If you want your items back, it's simple. Stand on the pressure plate. But some advice. Store all of your items now before you lose more than you've already lost. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard Derp Sunday. He gave him a warning to store all of his items. So he's going to have to put all of his items in a chest and then stand on this pressure plate. And this is where it all begins. The jigsaw de horror. Hopefully we can scare the crap out of Crater. Let's do this pressure plate. It'll clear all of his items and teleport him to the first task. So here it is, Mr. Craner. And here's where Derp Sunday, uh, here's where evil Derp, villain Derp Sunday takes over. All right, here we go. Hello, Mr. Craner. I want to play a game. For far too long, you have been turning into villain Craner. You have been taking Gertrude. You have been destroying everything. 
but that stops now. In front of you is a button that will give you the items needed to dig your way through, but this comes at a cost. Are you willing to poison yourself to win the game? And you better hurry up. The timer has begun. You wouldn't want an unexpected flight home. <laughs> so what that means is when Craner clicks this button, he's going to get that poison potion and he's going to get the pickaxe. And once he clicks the button, it sets off a timer where if he doesn't do this fast enough, it'll teleport him a thousand blocks above his base and unexpected flight home. And he'll fall to death. To his death. Okay, so let's click the button. It'll drop the two items. And he has to drink this po- Look at that. The, the timer has started. <laughs> okay, let's drink the poison potion. Okay, and we have to hurry. Go! We have to hurry through this. He's got to destroy all of this obsidian in time. And he's got to make it through before he dies. <laughs> from wither. Okay, and once he reaches the other side, he'll have something that'll heal. He has the antidote, just like the Saw movies. <laughs> we will scare the crap out of Craner. I think this is the last one. Is it? Come on! There we go! Okay, we have to run forward. Save yourself. Got milk. Open the chest. Milk bottle? Where well, he has to drink the milk. And there we go. And whenever he opened the chest, it set off a train reaction to, to turn off the timer. So it stopped it from teleporting him above him his base to his death. And that's just the first part. Whenever he clicks this button, it'll teleport him. Check this out. It'll teleport him and clear his inventory to the next section. Look at this. <laughs> this is so terrifying. So... The next section is Bobby. Let's see what Dave Sunday has to say. Let's throw this in. Well done, Mr. Craner. Now your next test is about Bobby. How far will you go for your friend Bobby? How many times will you poke your feet again and again? It's just a little poke. <laughs> in front of you is another button that will give you the tools needed to get through these spikes. Will you choose to proceed, or will you end up in a watery grave next to Bobby? <laughs> watery grave, so once Craner clicks, uh, stop it. Once Craner clicks the button, it'll, it'll set off the timer and give him the boots he needs to survive this. But it'll set off the timer, and if he doesn't do it fast enough, he'll get teleported to a watery grave where he's looking at Bobby. <laughs> okay, so let's throw these in here. Let's click the button and let's do this. Go! Okay, okay, okay. It'll drop boots down. We have to throw up and listen to the timer. Listen to that. And here we go. He's got to make this. Go! Okay, okay, run. No! Go! No, no! I didn't go fast enough. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this again. Go! Okay, okay, I, I removed some spikes. Just go! Yeah, yes! <laughs> he survived with one heart. And then here is this, save yourself drink. Whenever he opens this, it'll give him healing potions and send a signal to stop, stop him from teleporting. Okay, so let's drink this. And let's go to the next task. All right, here we go. So he's going to see this button here and he's going to press it. It's going to teleport him to the next stage and also put him in adventure mode so he can't break these landmines. <laughs> okay, and here's the final stage for Villain Craner. All right, let's see what Derp Sunday has to say. Here we go. Well done, Mr. Craner. And this is your final task. For Villain Craner, if you want to beat this game, it's simple. Watch your step, or you can choose to do nothing and lose more than you already have. The button in front of you will give you one last item to help you through this game. Live or die, Mr. Craner. Make your choice. <laughs> 
if he doesn't crap himself from this. Okay, so what that means right here, you will lose more than you already have. Once he clicks this button, it'll set off another timer. If he doesn't do this fast enough, it'll teleport him above his base where he'll land on pressure plates that'll set off a sequence of explosions that'll blow up his entire base. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Let's click the button and uh, oh, yeah, and also that button back. Oh, yeah, this button here It gave him a chess piece right that gives him blast protection four and set off the timer and Put his spawn point right here. So if he dies on this, it'll spawn him right back here. Okay, here we go Here we go. We have to be careful <sighs> Oh, yeah, we ran into a dead end. We're gonna have to jump here Go, okay, we did it. We did it Oh, okay, jump again. Ah, go! Okay, okay, okay. Can we do this? Um, we're gonna have to jump here. Yeah! Oh, that was close. We're gonna have to step back here, step back, jump. No! We jump again? Yes! Oh, no! Hopefully, Crater is good at parkour. Okay. There we go. So, that is how we beat the final one. But you have to hurry, Craner. <laughs> and then this will open up another trap chest, which will give him the final music disc. And it'll set off a chain that'll break the timer so he doesn't get teleported. Okay, so let's throw this in here. Hey, Craner, so you did it! Yay! I hope we're better friends now. <laughs> um, but, but what? I got bad news, though. Um, y your stuff isn't here. It's... It's actually back at your house. I don't like stealing from people, so I just put it there. It's it's in a hidden chest in your base. So, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and once he clicks this button, it'll put him back into survival mode, teleport him back here where he has to go through his entire base and try to find his items. Crater, don't ever mess with Gertrude again. Don't put bobbies in my base. I told you, we will find another troll for you. I think we scared the crap out of Craner this time. Anyways, dudes, I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, be sure to hit that like button down below. This took a crap ton of time. And uh, if you enjoyed this troll and you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yes, we'll see you dudes next time.